Okay, welcome back for the last part of One Man's Faith. We're looking at the authority of the believer, and right now we're looking at John 10, where, where it says um, that he who does not enter by the door into the fold of the sheep, but climbs up some other way, he is like a thief and a robber. But he who enters by the door is a shepherd of the sheep. Okay, we're, we're the, it's like verses uh, 1 through 5 now. Here we're looking at. Now, what is the sheepfold? It's the earth. Okay, in this context, let's let, and let's look. Okay, if it is, it's where the sheep are 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 kept. Okay, the sheep are kept in this big pen, and it, it's symbolic of the earth. Now he says, and he calls his own sheep. So there's a distinction. There are sheep in the sheepfold that are his, and then there are other sheep. Okay, do you see that? And he calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. His own sheep, okay? So there's more than just his sheep there. They're hid, there's his sheep and other sheep. What are the sheep? Well, if the sheep fold is the earth, then the sheep are people, okay? So we could say it's a people fold instead of a sheep fold. You know, it's, it's where we are it's where we are contained, and the sheepfold is the earth. Now it says, enter by the door. Enters, I say to you, he who does not enter by the door into the fold of the sheep, but climbs some other way, he is a thief. Verse 2, but he who enters by the door, by the door. Now it also says, he who enters is the shepherd of the sheep. Now, how do you enter? How do you enter? If, if there's a door there, how do you get into the world? How are you introduced into the world? By being born. Physically being born, okay? Was the devil born? No. He's the one that is coming by some other way. And it says... Uh, but climb some other way, verse 1. He is a thief and a robber. Verse 10 talks about the thief, remember? Okay, he who does not enter by the door into the fold of the sheep, but climb some other way, he is a thief and a robber. Satan didn't come in through the door. He wasn't born. He doesn't have that dominion. Therefore, he is not the shepherd. How did Jesus come in? He came the same way we did. And that's what he's saying here. He who enters by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. Okay? So, it, Jesus is talking parabolically here, I guess he can, is the word, or allegorically. He's talking about a sheepfold. The shepherd is comes in the same way the sheep do. All right? Jesus was born into mankind. He became a man. Satan has not and did not do that. As a matter of fact, even in Romans, it's, I mean, in Revelations, he's going to control the Antichrist. He, he is not going to make him or anything like that. So, so Satan cannot be the shepherd. He cannot be a shepherd. He says to him, the doorkeeper opens and the sheep hear his voice and he calls his own by name and he leads them out. Leads them out of what? Colossians 1 says this. Colossians 1 13. For he rescued us from the domain of darkness and transferred us into the kingdom of his beloved son. So we're being led out of darkness into the kingdom. Okay? Do you see that? And he says in verse 4, when he puts forth all his own, he goes ahead of them. When he puts forth all his own, he goes before them, and the sheep follow him, because they know his voice. He goes out, he goes ahead of us out. How? Being raised from the dead. 
How do we enter into the kingdom? By resurrection. Jesus was the first. He, was, he entered into the kingdom. Acts 13 says that uh, God has fulfilled this promise in our children in that he raised up Jesus as it is also written in the second Psalm, you are my son, today I have begotten you. When did he begotten him? When he raised him from the dead. Oh yeah, but God said he's, you're, you're my only begotten son. He did because he was going to raise him. He was speaking prophetically there. John 3, verse, verse 3, Jesus said to them, Truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born again, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. Remember that story? And verse 4, Nicodemus said, Well, a man can't go back into his mother's womb. How's he going to be born again? And Jesus said, Truly, I say to you, unless one is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of flesh is flesh, and that which is born of spirit is spirit. So to enter into the sheepfold, we are born. To get out of the sheepfold into the kingdom of God, it's through resurrection, being raised from the dead. Entering into the sheepfold is by being born of flesh. By our, you know, you and I are here by flesh. Okay, we entered in that way. Going out is being born in the Spirit. The only way you can be born in the Spirit is to know Jesus as Lord. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Nobody comes to the Father but through me. That is the only way. Jesus is the first one to be raised from the dead. Jesus became disconnected. Now listen, Jesus went through the same process we do. I don't know if I should even go there today because I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know if I can finish this. But let's see how far we can get. Jesus came as man. He was born without sin. He walked through this life without sinning. Okay? But when he hung on the cross... God poured all sin on him, making him a sinful person. He took all our sins upon him. All right, do you understand that? Jesus became sin. Jesus became disconnected. Why else would he say, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? God turned his back on his son because sin was upon him. Do you see that? Do you understand that? God didn't hang on that cross sinless because he became our, our substitute. All sin was poured upon him. And when he died, he went down into hell. And God raised him up from the dead. In Revelation, it starts, it states that Jesus is the firstborn from the dead. He is the first to be resurrected, bodily resurrected. There were people that, that were raised from the dead, but their body was already there. It was just a matter of their spirit coming back into their body. In Jesus' case, he died. He died, but his whole body was resurrected. He could sit. People could touch him. He says, he says, don't touch me. I'm not ready yet. Remember that? He ate food. He, he made, he had a fish fry. <laughs> I doubt if it was fish and chips, but at least a fish fry. And, and, and he ate. He, it was a bodily resurrection. It wasn't a spiritual resurrection. It was a both. And that is what is going to happen to us when he comes again, when we meet him in the air, we're going to be just resurrected. We're going to be resurrected. We're going to be taken up. Those of us who are alive when he comes back, those of us who are dead, our bodies are going to be taken up and meet our spirit, and we're going to, we're going to be a resurrected being at that time. 
Truly I say to you, he who does not enter by the door into the fold of the sheep, but climbs up another way, he is a thief and the robber. We enter into the world correctly by being born. Okay? But he who enters by the door is a shepherd. So Jesus is the door, therefore he is the shepherd. All right? To him the doorkeeper opens and the sheep hear his voice and he calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. He leads them out by being born in the spirit, being led out is being led into the kingdom. Listen, let me just stop right there for today. We've got to understand that there's a process set up by God that's using Jesus. Jesus is the way. I just said that to you a minute ago. He is the way, the truth, and the life. The thief down, I think it's uh, in verse four, in verse 10, the thief comes only to kill, steal, and destroy. And he's doing that to you right now unless you're, you have made Jesus Lord of your life. And that's the only way into the kingdom, the kingdom now and the kingdom to come. You won't see the kingdom to come. You won't go to heaven if you do not know Jesus. I don't care how many good things you do. You will not make it to heaven unless Jesus is Lord of your life. And by being Lord, he, that means you give him total control of your life and your decisions. And that's what he wants. He says, I have come to bring you life. Matter of fact, the end of verse 10, I came that they may have life and have it more abundantly. That's what Jesus wants to give to you. You've got to accept him. You can do that by saying, Lord, I, Jesus, I accept you as Lord of my life. And I believe that God raised you from the dead. I want to walk with you by faith and allow you to be Lord of my life and lead me in the right direction. Say that and you will be born again. Romans 10, 10. You can go look at that and see. Romans, 9 and, Romans 10, 9 and 10, okay? Go look at that. Become born again so that you can not only go come into the world, which you've already done, but you can go out into the kingdom. All right. God bless you. Have a great week. We'll pick this up next week and I'll see you next time.